Hey, Neil here from the website neilcurtis.me and today what I'm going to go over is how to add a background to this form. So this is a gravity form and in a long detailed previous tutorial I showed you how I created this form from the very start to very finish and styled it so it looked exactly like this. But today we're going to add a background and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add a solid block of color as a background. I'm also going to put a background image here just to make it look a bit different. Now, there are different ways to do this. I could try and target the container div of the gravity form itself to try and put an image behind this form. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a div around this form and then style the div itself rather than form. Actually, I'm going to style the div. And in the last tutorial where I set up this whole site, I've actually created a div around it. So I'll edit the page that's got this form embedded in it. And this is a section here. So here's our gravity form. It's got an ID of seven. And I've actually put a title. So that's getting in touch with the title. So it's not part of the form itself. And I've actually got a div around this. And it's got a name of consultant holder. So if we go back, I've actually got a div all around here and what this div does is it lets me centralize the form on the page so if I didn't have the div this form would be over here in line with this text on the left hand side but I've pushed it across and made it central on the page and I've also put this line along the top that's part of the div as well so if you go into our CSS styling so this is all the styling for the gravity form so here we have our div called consultant holder and this is everything we've done here so it's got a width of 80 percent Margin zero auto that makes it central. Then we've got margin top and we've got the border top and some padding. And here, everything with the ID of seven is the styling of the form. So you see it's got quite a lot of styling to it. So all this is styling this, this particular gravity form. And like I said, I covered that in a previous tutorial. But now all we need to do is mess about with this div because that's what we're going to do. And we don't have to. Have we don't have to do much really. We need to add a background, so let's go in here and I'll type in background, which makes sense. And then if you want to give it a block color first, so I'll just put hash CCC, and that is the CSS code color code for a dark gray. Update. Refresh our page here. There we go, it has added a background here in the div, but what it's done, and I knew it was going to do this, it's actually just added it around the text we've written, and it hasn't included the form that we've embedded. So we want this background to go all the way down here, but it just does it for this section. And we can get over this by putting another bit of code in. If we put overflow, colon, and then we put auto, semicolon and a small bit of CSS styling should make it go around the whole div everything that's inside the div and there you go it's done that but the styling isn't great because we've got a big gap this side and no gap this side so what I'll do is I'll add a bit of a padding to move it across we've got padding all around it going here let's say five percent padding everywhere right so it's it has put a bit of padding but the div isn't wide enough to take this padding so it's stacked everything down here so we'll just make the div a little bit wider so it was 80%, so I make it 85%. All right, there we go, that looks a lot nicer. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for this case. I could go in and mess about with the styling here to make this a little bit bigger and this a bit bigger, so it all lines up. But I'm not going to, because this is about the background. So there we go, we've got a background image, that was easy. I mean, a background color, but what happens if we want to add a background image? And again, that's pretty straightforward. So first off, you need an image 
on your website or uploaded to your web files and if I go into my media media library I'll open this in a new tab I've lots of images and these are some cool images that I've got for a new post I'm writing but if you just click on this one I'll just copy the link for the image this is a cool Lego Iron Man so we need there and then if we go in here we've got our background we just need to add to this we can go URL bracket paste in that link and then bracket again that's that'll tell it to use this image and if you can't find the image use the color so look at that and then I'll refresh the page and there we go we have the Iron Man background to the image so that's just a quick tutorial and it's showing you how to add a background image to gravity forms or if you didn't have a form in here just have to add a background image between a div in WordPress so as always make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you hear about new videos as soon as they happen and also head over to the website and check out some stuff over there